what's up guys so as you can see <laughs> we are out and about today um, just at a, a local park that's not too far away but um, as you can see it is raining and a little known fact about me this is my favorite kind of weather to shoot in this kind of like light rain uh, so to speak it well for one when the ground is wet and when the surfaces are wet you can get some really cool reflections and do a lot of cool things with uh, photography um, and then two I don't know it's just kind of the vibe that like you get when you're out there shooting it's very very relaxing and so what I thought I'd do today for a video is basically just a video of me shooting in the rain um, I'll have some really cool just like kind of like lo-fi um, stuff playing in the background and it's just gonna be kind of like one of those relaxing videos uh, for me it's relaxing to shoot and then maybe it's you know maybe it could be relaxing for you to watch but um, that's kind of the whole concept of this, of this video today I'll probably get some um, just b-roll other things like that footage mainly photos but that is, that is the general idea it is a little cold uh, but it's not too bad I probably could have put one more layer on do transparency just to take you to that rain. All right, get some Ben Howard going as uh, he's a big rainy day vibe, so it's actually kind of picking up a little bit, but that's okay. We are we're completely rainproof here. Well, not completely, these aren't necessarily advertised as waterproof or rainproof or anything like that, but uh, you know what? We'll, we'll, we'll go for it. Rocking the 7200 f4 today. Um, I have this is a lens I haven't used a lot recently, so we're gonna try to get some use out of it today. Uh, and we've got it on, of course, the a7 III with the better grip. So that is that is what we're doing today. All right, while we're here, we'll go ahead and get some uh, some shots of this of the shelter here. Maybe let the rain die down a little bit because it actually picked up quite a bit since I've been here. So we'll see. Oh, we'll see how this day goes. Got a hundred percent till three PM there. That's sick.
cool bridge up here. Yeah, rain's kind of dying down now. It's more light, not as dramatic. This F4 lens actually hasn't been terrible. Um, when I purchased it, I was wanting to get at least one G Master, and I ended up going with the 24 to 70 just because I use those focal lengths a little bit more, I think. Um, and so I went ahead and just got the F4 version of the 7200. It's not bad. I actually enjoyed it um, for when I have used it. Like I said, I haven't used it a whole lot, but uh, it's been it's been nice when I do. That's kind of a cool shot. Let's see. If you're watching this and wondering why I'm out here with an A7 III, because it's technically not like water sealed, um, it's because I've done it multiple times. <laughs> and I said, you know, I'm just gonna take my chances with it. Because it's, for the most part, I mean, as long as you're not in, like this is fine. It can handle this just okay. The stuff I was in earlier might have been a little bit heavy for it, but uh, a light drizzle like this, You'll be fine. You'll be fine.
a golf ball. The junior course right over there, so whoever drilled that shot uh, has quite the swing. special that you end up shooting it and then you look at it and you're like, oh, wow, it's actually pretty cool. One thing I need to invest in for this are gloves. I don't have any brain resistant gloves yet. It's still a little bit a little bit chilly out here. It's not a ball. Make a better frame here.
Hmm. I need to find something to put there, because that would actually be kind of a cool shot. But what is the question? Well, the iPhone 12 is water resistant, right? Uh, for the pick. Quite it. turned out kind of cool. Got my phone dried off in my pocket. Um, I'm not finished quite yet with this spot. There's trash around me. If you're seeing this, don't litter because this is what happens. You get just a bunch of random stuff in your frame. You're ruining, for the, you're ruining it for the environment and the photographers out there. Farther back, get more depth. Not quite that far though. I like that. That's cool. See, you gotta challenge yourself when you're working with lenses or whatever, something you're not used to. Um, you just gotta try, challenge yourself to try to find something to shoot. Get creative, stretch your creative muscles. That's what I've been trying to do more of, because I definitely don't do enough of it. But sometimes it means throwing your phone or bracelet in a puddle. Why the hell not? Don't throw your phone in a puddle if it's not waterproof, but or water resistant at least. But you know what I mean. You know what I'm getting at. I hope to God this angle of the GoPro is working out. Because if not, there goes the whole video. That's okay though. Let's see. I can't for sure remember the name of the company that makes this jacket. Um, but I'm going to include them in this video because it is a fantastic jacket. <clears throat> so far, 100%, I'm completely dry uh, from my head down. Well, at least, you know, neck down. My head's getting a little wet just because it's open here. But um, everything else, completely dry other than my hands and my, and my face. So, A1 product. See, I like this little puddle. thing over here.
kind of like that. We'll get it on the other side too. Might as well. It's always best to overshoot than undershoot. Yeah, let's see if we can get the lake in the back of there. Get a little bit closer though. I'm gonna loop around to that little lake and I kind of swing back around from there and that should be good. The rain has kind of kind of stopped for the most part. It's just kind of spitting now. There's really nothing coming down from the from the sky unless you're under a tree, but yeah, not too bad. There's a cop that keeps like out in his siren over there, and I don't know why. Oh well. <sighs> yeah, you think the tree's worth shooting from here? Not really. But we're still gonna shoot it. We got it. Who knows? You know, you might might have thought, oh, I should have get home. You think I should have should have shot that tree? I really, I was really feeling the the vibe of that that shot, and then, you know, you'll never know. It turns out or not if you don't take it. So it's a blessing and a curse. It's a curse for your hard drive space. So that's pretty much it. Okay. I do like what's going on here. Oh, 
thing it didn't bring was some filters and polarizers or indies. Could use a few of those, but it's okay. It's okay. bugs in there. Water bugs. Uh, so I don't know if this will turn out or not, but we'll give it a shot. Oh. Ooh. See, that's kind of cool. Let's move up a little bit. Actually, too. Ooh, and this one. All right, let's give a shot. Oh no! I stepped in it. Now there's gonna be mud. Like, ah, rookie mistake. Rookie mistake. Not bad.
it's the water. <laughs> our boy.
footage of this guy right here. transition you might want to add. All right, here we are. We are back to where we started. So that is going to bring the video to a wrap, guys. Put on my, my cap there. Ugh, number one. All right, but I hope you guys enjoyed this video. It was very enjoyable for me. I think it was about half an hour to an hour. I, I don't know. I lose track of time. So I guess we'll see, but uh, just me out there shooting in the best weather to shoot in, in my opinion. Obviously there's golden hour and other times that look way more aesthetic than this kind of time. But uh, as far as the overall experience of shooting in it, this is my favorite. But anyways, guys, thanks so much for watching. If you did enjoy the video, go ahead and give it a like down below. I'm literally just talking to nothing right now and it's a little weird. But uh, anyways, give it a like, go ahead and subscribe if you enjoy the overall content on my channel, and I will be seeing you in the next video. Peace.